are back with another YouTube video. Um, we're going to call this one the cabin. We are in our Muleville location, and this is just a brand new uh, farm style home that has just got a lot of features. So I want you to go, come on in and join me inside, and I'll show you the rest of the home. Hey guys, uh, we are inside the cabin on our Muleville lot. Uh, this is a beautiful three bath. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> three, three bedroom, two bath home. Uh, we have a lot of fantastic features. I want to start you off in the living room. Uh, this has a great feature wall on it. We have floating shelves. We have uh, built-ins down here. We have a built-in fireplace. This is one reason why we called it the cabin because it just is, it makes it feel warm and cozy in here. It makes it really nice. We have spots for your TV to go. We actually already have wired uh, for coax cable to be put there so your cable provider could just hook right into your TV when it's mounted on your wall here. Again, we have identical on the same side over here, floating shelves and built-ins below. Now, I wanted to point out this living room and how huge it is. Uh, we have two beautiful windows that are looking out onto your porch where you can have uh, some chairs out there, you can sip some sweet tea. This is just a really great home. I love how this has turned out. If we come up in here, we have a really good eat-in dining room. It's right next to the kitchen, so you don't have to walk too far with your dishes, but it has, a, has four windows surrounding it and some lights above it. So once this is fully set up and powered up, this is going to be a beautiful home. Uh, a lot of space here. You could actually fit probably six foot a, you know, or a six seater or eight seater table. There's a lot of room in this house. Uh, I love how this island has come together. It kind of pulls everything together. Uh, I love that the feature wall underneath the island, it just really makes it feel so rustic and cozy and comfy. It, it just makes you want to move right in. <laughs> um, so if we're coming on in, we did do two-toned kitchens. We did a darker island with a white cabin on the exterior. And we also, if you've seen recently a, a video on our YouTube channel of a Fleetwood single wide we did just like this, this is kind of the dad to that. It's the double wide version of that. So you might have recognized this beautiful mosaic tile that we have put from the top of the countertop to the bottom of the cabinets, which makes cooking a lot easier. You don't have to worry about spilling everything on uh, the wall and mess up your wall. It's on the back flush. You wipe it right off. All right, and one thing I really love about this kitchen, you saw in that single wide that I mentioned a few seconds ago, is this window. It just opens up slideways, slide, slideways, that's a new word. Um, <laughs> it opens up slideways, and you can have a really nice breeze coming in. A lot of people have been doing windows above the kitchen that didn't open, but I love that this just kind of slides right on out, and you can just have a really nice breeze coming in. I'll show that. And I love this beautiful farmhouse sink with the uh, gooseneck uh, faucet on it, and it actually is detachable. I know a lot of people have seen that and wondered if it was. It is. So coming back here, a lot of space. This home is about 1,600 square feet. There's a lot of square footage, and this great room at the end of the house just makes it, in my opinion. So coming on down here, I want you to show off the rest of the stainless steel appliances and the Euro hood that is above it. We did the mosaic tile backsplash all the way up to the ceiling, which is really gorgeous. And this is real tile. This is not a wallpaper or anything like that. It is a beautiful tile. So I want to show you the laundry room in here. So this is where you would walk into the back of your home. And you do have space for a washer and dryer here. And you have some shelving above there as well. So this is actually really good space. You have space in here to put a um, deep freezer if you would like to do so. So if we come down here, coming across, we do have a stainless steel refrigerator. And there's also a pantry in this kitchen. So another great feature, you have all the cabinets, but you also have a pantry. And I know a lot of people have wanted those. And so we have provided one in this home. <laughs> So I want to show you this end. So this end would be where the bedrooms are. So it is kind of separated uh, from the main living area, but there is a second bathroom down here and three bedrooms. Now, 
I'm gonna show you this bedroom first. This bedroom has the linoleum in it. It does not have carpet. And if we'll go in, I'll show you the size of the closet. Really good size bedrooms uh, in this home. I mean, for a double wide, you usually don't see bedrooms this big, but they're actually fairly decent. So you do have two shelves in here. We do have some materials laying in there, but we do have two wired shelves in here, which is another feature that they usually do not have, but they decided to add two shelves. So that way you have a place to hang your pants and your shirts. So we're coming on in here, I'll show you the second bath and the second bedroom. So I'll let you poke in there. We have the white cabinets we brought from the kitchen, just like you, um, just like try to match everything. Really high countertops, so you're not having to bend down uh, and you know brush your teeth and everything in the morning. But we do have one feature that I really like is these ornate faucets. We even have not seen these in a really long time. They have a really classic design on them, and they're you know nickel finished or not nickel? Is that nickel? Yeah. So nickel finished, but it is beautiful. It just kind of gives you a reminder of the past, but it is a beautiful addition to this home. And of course, we have the one-piece fiberglass shower tub combo. They've even put a cabinet up here, just like in the kitchen. So they really did think through every portion of this home. Now, we do have a bedroom here. It does have a lot of material in it. Uh, but we, like I said, we just got this in and wanted to show it to you anyways. So if we're coming over here, I do have another closet. And this is a little bit better view of what we did do. We put two shelving in here. That way you can hang your shorts and pants down low and you still have space for your shoes. But then up top, you have two racks. So then you don't have to install it yourself. So I really like that about this home. So if we come over here, I'll show you the master. So I gotta hop over some vinyl siding. Uh, show you the master. Now this home had a really big master. Two windows, so you had the perfect space to put your bed. And of course it lets in a lot of natural light and we added so many features in this master bedroom suite. So one feature I wanted to point out first is how big the closet is. Massive walk-in closet. So if we show it in there, we do have the two shelves. And there's actually a space for his and her side. There's kind of her side and then his side is behind the door. <laughs> so coming on back out, we do have this beautiful dark stained farmhouse barn door that leads into your master bath. And I closed it so I could open it with a grand entry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so <laughs> coming on in here, we do have a really, this is a master suite. This isn't a master bath. You have a huge barn door style uh, shower here that is just massive. I mean, it is, it's honestly like a hotel. It is super nice. Now, one thing I saw whenever I was walking through prior to this is that you get a telephone with your tub. Hello? Oh, sorry, never mind. That's just the spa. <laughs> That's just the faucet. Um, it's just really cool to see something like that. You don't see something like that in any of our homes. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, really classic design on the faucet as well. That's just something you don't see, guys. And it's just so, it reminds you of the past. And it's just really cool. A lot of features that have were popular back in the day have been brought back. And I don't even know why they ever left. Because I really, really like them. Um... You do have space here. You have cabinets along the side with drawers, and you have these doors that roll shut. You can either keep one or the other side open, but you do have a dual vanity here with the beautiful faucets. I just can't get over how pretty they are. Um, and these mirrors that you see are actually, they come with the house. Um, they're not the court or not designed. They actually come with the house. These are the mirrors that come on the walls like sometimes you see just the glass on the walls, these actually come with the house and it just adds a lot of character to it as well. Um, we do have a water closet in this one as well. And this water closet actually has a window. A lot of people have said in the past, why is it so dark in here? Well, now this one has a frosted glass window so people can't see in, but you actually let in some natural daylight. So it's not like a cavern in there. Uh, so if you want to join me back in the kitchen, uh, we'll go over the final details of this home. 
All right, guys, so going over the final details of this home, this is on our beautiful lot in beautiful North Carolina. Uh, of course, just like always, their number will be listed below and you can call for full pricing. Um, what we normally do with all of our customers is you call in, give us a piece of uh, information, which is like where you want to go, so it kind of determines the price and how much uh, we need to do on our end as far as work. That will get you a full turnkey price um, on this home. But again, this is a three bedroom, two bath home, around 1,500 square feet. And we really appreciate you guys watching this video. We really hope you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified the next time we upload a new video. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.